those people that think about cricket clubs, they always think about the sport itself and why not, uh, the juniors and the seniors, but Sandbach Cricket Club is more than cricket and we really want to make sure that we've got amazing facilities for the people of uh, Sandbach. It's been a really tough year, a couple of years with the pandemic and everything else that's been going on and we're trying to do the best that we can and we're really looking to raise some funds so that we can develop um, both facilities on and off the pitch for the local community uh, to use as much as they can. It's like a home, it's like a second home, it's just like really nice, everyone knows each other and you just, if you're bored just go down to the cricket club and you're just guaranteed one of your mates is going to be down there and you just play, either watch stuff inside, play outside, it's just fun. It's not just about cricket, it's just one of them places you just go around, especially in the summer, like this summer with the Euros and everything, there's lots of different people, it just, yeah, it's a great place. I think it's probably one of the best venues in Sandbach for people to use for parties. Um, there's a lot of space to be used and it's got a good family feel about it, a good community feel because the people that are here are regular people that are here all the time and get to know how the club should be run. Sandbach was founded in 1886. This year looks like it could be one of the most exciting years for, for our cricket club. The first team has managed to get into Division 1 of the North Staffs and South Cheshire League, which is the highest position that we've ever been in any, any particular league. The club has invested in the last few years, even though it's been a very tough time, in equipment, machinery to help provide the facilities uh, for, for the players. But the one thing that is holding us back is the quality of our nets. Uh, this is our practice facility and it's where the juniors will start to develop their skills and hopefully their love of the game going forward really. Currently um, our nets don't really bounce much and they're pretty mucky. When you're bowling the ball it doesn't come up that high um, and it will patch holes and stuff and we, we, we won't have holes like we do so it doesn't go through. So this is why we're looking to see if we can fundraise, continue to improve the facilities on the pitch and if we can do that then naturally there's a good chance we can develop the facilities off the pitch, um, which the town of Sandbach and the people of Sandbach will be able to benefit from. Um, there's always different events going on and they've got bonfire nights, we've had New Year's nights, um, like presentations is always good when everyone's down here. It's not just to play cricket, there's people that come down just to socialise and have a drink and meet up and stuff, so yeah, it's quite a big part of Sandbach, I think. I think it's a very important part for Sandbach because there aren't many venues left now um, where you can book a place for a party for a family or I mean they do christenings and everything here so they're pretty adaptable for anything. Over the last couple of years it's been really tough as it has for, for many uh, organisations and I think the fundraising that we're trying to get will help us become more sustainable uh, off the pitch as well you know, where we can put resources in place to really develop the, the club as a venue. And this is why we're trying to raise funds now and need your help uh, to, to, to create facilities that will be here for, for many years to come. Brand new nets wouldn't have saved you there, pal. <laughs>